Hello everyone, back to into today's first video doing a five day forecast for today's first video. So as always on a Wednesday, have a detailed look at the weather next five days. High pressure going to be taking over during the next five days. So we're going to be setting down, it's going to be turning drier, it's going to be turning warmer uh, as well. In fact, it could locally get quite hot down in the south and southeast over the weekend. Now, there's a little bit of uncertainty by the time we get through to Bank Holiday Monday. But overall, I think even then, we probably keep it mainly dry for most parts of the country. So... Not going to be a bad bank holiday weekend at all. And I'll get on with the 5-day forecast for you very shortly. Just say that coming up later on this afternoon, we're going to have a week to 10-day video update uh, with all of the usual features. That'll be on the homepage at gavsoffice.com. I mean, tonight we're going to have a bank holiday weekend update as well, up to update number 6, I think on that. Uh, the website's using for the 5-day forecast coming from wetcentral.de and weatherout.com find a link to both websites on the links page. So this is the latest radar picture from the weather out. It's been a mainly dry uh, morning across most parts of the country, particularly in the south and the east have a lot of dry weather. A few scattered showers through parts of northern England and down into Wales, also one or two across southern Scotland too. The main area of weather of course is this band of heavy rain that's moving into the far west of the country. So it's pushed through most of Northern Ireland uh, now and it is moving in towards the west of Scotland as well. This rain will carry on moving eastwards across the northern half of the country through the course of this afternoon. Here's today's hot pressure chart. So high pressure is building in the south. That will become the main player over the next uh, five days. Low pressure though is out to the northwest of Scotland. It's sending its way front in to the northwest of the country. So this afternoon we'll continue to see outbreaks of heavy and persistent rain gathering across western Scotland and Northern Ireland and moving eastwards across the rest of Scotland and down into northwest England probably by the end of the afternoon and into the evening. The rain will probably be quite light and patchy on the eastern side of Scotland but we've already established there are some heavy bursts mixed in with this wet weather across other parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland and probably heading into the far, far northwest of England uh, by the end of the afternoon. Further south and east of that, a lot of dry weather, one or two showers, yes, across parts of, uh, parts of northern England and into Wales, but there will be a lot of dry weather in the south and the east. Temperatures this afternoon ranging from only 15 degrees in the far north of Scotland, where it's wet and windy, also quite tight back ties bar, so we'll be pretty, br uh, pretty breezy in the far northwest. So, wet and windy with cool temperatures in the far northwest of the country, but in the southeast, probably seeing temperatures up to 22 or 23, and 23 is 73 Fahrenheit. Overnight tonight, that uh, weather move a bit further south was an east, was allowing clearer skies to follow along behind. So, we'll see that band of cloud and rain across Scotland and Northern Ireland moving down into Northern England and North Wales by the end of the night, probably getting lighter and patchier as it does so. Clearer skies will follow to the north, and uh, there could be one or two showers though blown in on those westerly winds. And down in the south and the southeast, a lot of dry weather there through the night with a mix of clear spells and variable cloud. Temperatures could get a little bit chilly in the far north, Scott, behind this band of wet weather, down to around 8 degrees Celsius. But most places will have a mild or a warm night with temperatures holding well up into double digits. Thursday looks like this. Tomorrow, high pressure continues to strengthen across the south. Low pressure still close to the north of Scotland. That first weather front will kind of die a death through the central swathe of the country. So we'll start Thursday with a band of cloud and showery rain across Wales, uh, North Wales anyway, and northern England. It'll get lighter patch and die out through the course of the day, probably not making much uh, more progress south. We'll step south of that front. Uh, there can be plenty of decent sunny spells through the Midlands into southern southeastern parts of the country. Temperatures will get very warm in the southeast for our afternoon. It'll start to feel a little bit humid too. Further north, a bright start across Scotland and Northern Ireland, but it'll probably cloud up with outbreaks of rain moving into Scotland anyway uh, during the course of Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. Temperatures tomorrow ranging from again only 15 degrees in the far north of the country to probably around 24 in the southeast. Very warm, 75 Fahrenheit. High pressure continues to take over the weather as we head up into Friday, with low pressure then getting pushed back into the northwest of uh, Scotland. So we're going to find outbreaks of rain mostly confined to northwest Scotland, I think, on Friday. Majority of the country will stay dry, uh, with uh, increasing amounts of sunshine spreading up from the south. Temperatures in those prolonged sunny spells will get very warm. 
because the temperature's going up to around 27, perhaps maybe in 28 through central London. That's around 82 Fahrenheit. Even in Scotland and Northern Ireland, it'll be a warmer day with temperatures around 18 to 20 degrees. Saturday, high pressure has taken over the weather pattern. Then the winds have turned into the south, a high sitting two hour east with low pressure out to west of the country. We're drawing up uh, southerly southeast winds, so temperatures will be increasing. Um, again, there might be a few showery bursts of rain from west of Scotland, maybe a little bit flirting in towards Northern Ireland, but the majority of the country have a dry day on Saturday with plenty of sunny spells. In those prolonged sunny spells, temperatures are going to get warm or very warm. We'll see temperatures into the mid to upper 20s Celsius week through most parts of the country. 29 looks achievable in the southeast corner. That's heading up towards the mid 80s Fahrenheit. And moving to Sunday, and this is probably the warmest day of the bank holiday weekend. High pressure again is in control. Just perhaps a slight weakening might allow one or two showers to break out. Might be a little bit thundery, but I think there'll be very sort of rogue showers. You'll be very unlucky to catch a shower on Sunday. The majority of the country will remain dry with uh, loads of sunshine uh, coming through. Temperatures could reach 30 degrees in the southeast. That's 86 Fahrenheit. Well, in tiny rule out, going a little bit hotter than that. Somewhere like central London. So 31 or 32 is around 88 to 90 Fahrenheit. Just an outside chance might get that hot on Sunday afternoon in the extreme southeast corner. More generally, temperatures sort of mid to upper 20s Celsius or into the 80s Fahrenheit for many of us on Sunday with a bag of sunshine. And then that's bank holiday money. It's just a little bit of uncertainty about bank holiday money. But overall, I think high pressure will still stay in control of the weather, in, of the, weather the position is perhaps shifting just a little bit to start to allow slightly fresher air to come in from the north. Um, and we may see a weather bringing more general outbreaks of rain to north and west Scotland too. But having said all, that, all of that, most parts will stay dry on Bank Holiday Monday. There'll be prolonged spells of sunshine uh, once again. Just a chance of one or two road thundery showers. Temperatures maybe not quite as hot on Monday, but even so, we'll still be talking about mid to upper 20s Celsius. I think for most parts of the country, just turning a little bit cooler in the far north. Then, of course, we'll extend out beyond the five-day forecast period with today's uh, second video update that will be coming up later on this afternoon. Finally, we'll charts where we're out. So, turning increasingly wet across Scotland and Northern Ireland through this afternoon, mainly dry, uh, with warm smell sunshine down in the south. That's Thursday. Again, looks a little bit uh, on the showery side up in the north in particular. That weather front will die a death through the sex part of the country. Best of sunshine being the south, southeast, becoming very warm tomorrow afternoon down there and then through friday and into saturday the high pressure takes over there'll be bags of sunshine temperatures become warmer and warmer as we go through into bank holiday weekend peaking probably on sunday at around 30 degrees in the southeast may even turn a little bit hotter than that perhaps but as we get through into bank holiday monday just a suggestion it might start to cool down a little bit and it might start to turn Rather, uh, rather more showering the far north and west of the country. But again, there's quite a bit of uncertainty about that. And overall, I wouldn't expect Bank Holiday Monday to be too bad either. So in summary, well, we're starting wet in the north today, but the trend over the next five days will be to turn things increasingly dry, sunny and warm, becoming very warm or even locally hot in the southeast by the Bank Holiday weekend. Um, summer hasn't done with us yet. Right, we're back later on this afternoon with your week's 10-day video update. And then tonight we'll have a bank holiday update. Um, but that's all for now, and thanks for watching.